Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Naval Action. So, today I'm bringing you yet another guide. So this is usually a source of confusion for newcomers, so I thought I'd make a guide. I didn't cover it in my beginner's guide, since as a proper beginner it's not useful. It gets useful as you get bigger ships, mainly. So here I have a bow pool, no guns or anything. Except these two, but ignore those. So what this guide is going to be about is is um, what uh, shit I'm lo lo what guns can a ship mount? So obviously every ship can mount guns, but how do you know what sizes of guns you can mount in, say, your bow pool or your yacht? Which I have here. So we'll go to Bell Pool because it has more variations. <coughs> so if you go to the weapons tab, you'll see. Of course, this depends on the deck, but or ship. So if I go, for example, the Connie, it has lower deck, top deck, front and back. Yacht just has lower deck. So we'll go to the Bell Pool. Lower deck, top deck, and uh, back, which is the stern chasers. So now you need to determine what size guns it can carry. And I'll go to the advantages of the different guns later. So you you see lower deck, it can five nine or four eight. What does that mean? Well, if you go to the shop cannons, you'll see fifth class. Medium, 12 pound mediums or long, 12 pound longs. You go here. Ah, so it can you carry fifth class longs or mediums. That's what the first number means. <laughs> Second number is carronades. So fourth class carronades. So it can carry 42 pound carronades or 12, 12 pounds mediums or longs. So let's test it. I have bought for the two pound carronades. Yes, it fits. Twelve pound mediums. Yes, it fits. And the same for the top deck. So it can either carry eight class mediums, which are six pounds, there's or fifth class carronades, which are twenty four pounders. And it fits. And the same with the stern cannons. Stern chasers. So, now that you know what guns your ship can carry, what guns should you carry? Should you carry carronades, mediums? Uh, let's go just go and buy some longs. Or longs. And really, it depends on what you want to do. Just to prove that a long cannons fit. They're class 5. But it depends a lot on what you want to do with your ship. If you want to... If you're mostly PvE and your ship can carry it. Carronades are excellent because of their excellent broadside weight. And because PvE are generally more close range. The AI doesn't know how to counter carronades. However, carronades obviously have a have a big draw uh, drawback. Their range, they have poor range cons uh, compared to mediums, and especially compared to longs. So, if you want to do PvP, you want to do either mediums or longs. So, which one should you use? Well, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Mediums. Let's start off with mediums. They have obviously medium range. They, so they have. Uh, they also have less penetration than long cannons. Something a lot of people are surprised about, though, is mediums have more damage than long cannons. So if you want to do, if you are at medium range, and you want to do as much possible damage, medium cannons are the best. However, long cannons, their long range and extra penetration are useful. 
if you're in a smaller ship trying to attack a bigger ship, long cannons are more useful due to well the extra penetration so you'll actually penetrate instead of just bounce or glance off of the better armor of your larger of the larger enemy. And of course the long range allows you to ke be keep yourself at range. So avoid getting shot off. Long cannons I think if I'm not mistaken is the preferred for PvP because you can keep yourself at range of mediums and carronade users so that they can't shoot back yet you can shoot at them and you have the nice penetration of course the damage suffers a bit however if you can use the long cannons to say disable the enemy sails you can just run circles around them so yeah personally I am a fan of mediums Carronades in smaller ships, so like the yacht, I'd prefer carronades or cutter. After s maybe the surprise, I'm more for mediums, just in case I get PvP. But really, in terms of cannons, ca carronades are obviously the best for PvE. Also, one thing I forget to mention some ships. Like here, this line, it means that it can't carry a certain gun. So if there's just a dash here, but there's a uh, number here, you can carry carronades. Or if it's like number here, dash here, like it is on the colony, you can carry medium so long, but you can't carry um, carronades. And personally, I prefer to keep the same kind of guns. Just so that I, everything has the same range. But again, a lot of this depends a lot on personal preference. So the best way is to just go out and try it yourself. See what you like. But this is a quick, has been a quick rundown. I might not be fully accurate, just a disclaimer. I'm not the best in PvP, so... Yeah. But th that's the gist of it, what I've got. Lone cannons are the preferred for PvP. Mediums are the all-round cannons. Carronades are the best for PvE. Of course, all cannons can be used for PvP. And it depends a lot on the skill of the enemy. But some enemies might, if you use carronades, if you use mediums or carronades, especially carronades, might be able to avoid your shots entirely. So, but that assumes the enemy is skilled. If you come across a total idiot he could be using long cannons and you could be using carronades and you'll destroy him so it again it depends a lot if you can get in close carronades will destroy but if you can't and you're using carronades you'll get destroyed so yeah that's why long cannons usually are the best for pvp in my opinion since you can you have more control of the of the engagement and again, mediums are just in the middle since you have quite decent range, you have quite decent damage. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!